I have previously reviewed that you need a platform to manage your Facebook ads and Google ads. Now using ad you need, I was really missing a creative tool to help me build converting ads. It's now here. Ad you need has built Ad Creative, which is an AI platform helping you to build converting ads. So without further ado, let's dive into Ad Creative and set up some ads. We are now inside adcreative.ai and I have already set up my brand Collecti here. I have integrated with both my Google Ads and my Facebook Ads. So by clicking on my brand, you can see that we have one project here also called Collecti.io. Here we can create a new project if we want to or we can reuse this one. Each project has some text that it varies on. So overall the design here is very modern but it can be overwhelming which you will see a little bit later. But let's just dive into the project I have already created. So here you can see that we have a lot of different types of ad creatives already generated because I have already filled in some information. Up here we can change the font to use the font that you use yourself as your brand. Furthermore, we can also change the colors which I will show you a little bit later. So by clicking on the edit project here, we have the colors down here, but we do also have the text up here. And this is the text which is displayed on all of your different ad creatives. So here I have sign up for beta as my call to action. Then I do have a description and I have two titles. If I press save and render, it will then re-render everything and you can see the process down here. And what's interesting about these ad creatives is that for each of these ad creatives, it, they get a score. So you can see they are sorted right now after the score up here. 97 out of 100 is the highest right now. And this is the AI recommendation. Now the AI recommendation up here is still learning and still being trained. But it is basically telling you what type of ad creative will perform best. This is really interesting and I can see a very bright future for this specific feature. Because if we can integrate Google Ads and they can integrate Google Analytics and pull data from both Facebook Ads Analytics and Google Ads to see what performs best, then they will be able to use that data to really tell what ad creative is performing. So that's a really interesting thing. And as we scroll down here, you can see all of the different templates. So the AI part is not of generating content and it's not of generating the actual template because the templates are like they are. You can see you get the same templates over and over again. Of course, depending on the text, then the AI recommendation changes. Otherwise, it is more or less the same. But you can see that we have a lot of different great templates right now and they are constantly adding more templates that we can use. And what's interesting is that we can actually take all of these templates, transfer them to Facebook and then A-B test on them. So let's say that I like the first three ad creatives here. Then I will select them. I will go up to download and then I will press push to Facebook. Now it will push it over to Facebook, as you can see down here, sending successful, and I will then be able to set it up on my Facebook ad account. And then I'll be able to A-B test to see what type of ad creative works the best. You do also notice the image in the background. So if I press edit project here, we do also see that the post size is 1080 by 1080. And in the future, that will also be possible to change. But down here, we can see that the image is supposed to be here. And when we set up a new project, which I will show you just in a moment, you can also see that we can add an image. So let's go back to projects and set up a new project. Here you can see that we can choose either a post size or a story size. And then over here, we will be able to see an example. I will just go with the post size and continue. So here you can see again, we need to enter the different text that we also saw before. And for your call to action, you can also change the icon here. And they have a lot of great icons that you can use. So when you have filled out your campaign, you press save and continue. And here you have some very interesting elements. You can either choose to use the background remover where you upload an image or you choose from the library so you can remove the background or you can go back to the image search engine. 
and in here we can search for a specific image so i just search for computer and i will then click on this picture here i will then resize and use this image so now i have the image ready and as you just saw i use the image search engine now i will press create post i will just call this project youtube video and i'll press save and generate so now we will get a lot of example as we just saw before on how ad creative creates the best type of ad creatives for us while it generates all of these ad creatives i just want to show you the integrations because inside the integrations you can see we have facebook ads and google ads working right now then by december 30 we will get google analytics and ad you need integration and in january there will come sapir and sync spider so this is the integrations which they have right now and which are planned into the future and i'm really excited to see the google analytics and i do really hope that they will utilize all of this data to make the ai recommendation perform even better but let's go back to the project we just created go to the youtube video here and then here you can see that it's completely different because now we have another color we have another text font and we just have different examples so if i go up and i change the font you can see it's as easy as I just click on the railway, for instance, and then I press regenerate. Then it will regenerate all of my ad creatives with the new font. It does take a little bit of time, but you can see it in real time here. And now it's done. And if I do not like this specific color here, I can press edit project. Down here, as you just saw before as well, we can change the colors to what we want. I want a little bit more dark tone and you can see that it changes in real time. When I press save and render, it will then re-render all of the ad creatives. For now, I will just keep this as it is. And as I just mentioned before, when we select specific ad creatives here, then we can go up and download and we can send it to Facebook, but we can also push it to Google and we can download them if we want to upload them somewhere ourselves. So if you are running TikTok ads and you want a specific ad in here, then this is the way of doing it by downloading it and then uploading it manually. Of course, you will most likely use a video, but it's just an example. They are also working on a white label solution and soon we will also see a dark mode of ad creative, but that is the platform ad creative. Now the pricing does show that this is an expensive product you do also get the AI part, but they have three plans and the cheapest plan is just not worth it. However, the medium plan does give you some benefits and then they have the unlimited plan. And I would advise you to go with the unlimited plan because this allows you to run multiple tests and basically A-B test all of your different ad creatives and campaigns. So if you're in for that, the unlimited plan is perfect fit for you. But you can also start with the medium plan to test out the platform and you do also get 100 ad creatives that you can use now the alternatives to ad creatives is seltra and marpipe and both of these products are way ahead of ad creative ad creative has recently been released which means that it is still a bit buggy it does not have an editor to basically edit all of your ads and just overall the feature set within ad creative is nothing compared to both marpipe and seltra now as this is a new product the roadmap is really packed with features first off they're working on integrations to google analytics sapir and even at your need so we can really combine the two products together then they're adding more templates for us to a b test on they're adding language support. And last but not least, they're adding more sizes so we can start to run video ads and just general Facebook ads. Now, after using ad creatives, I want to share my pros and cons with you. Starting with the pros, you can customize your brands on both fonts and colors. You do get AI recommendation and you get brand profiles. Whereas for the cons, it's still a new product, so it's a bit buggy. And even though the design is modern, it can be overwhelming. Ad Creative is the newest product from Ad You Need. And as it's still a new product, it does require more work. 
overall i will give ad creative three stars it's really a great way to generate a lot of ad creative ideas in one go thank you so much for watching let's catch up on the next one